Hello everyone and welcome to a quick information video. Someone requested um, some information on how to obtain the specific weapon sets I mentioned in my Winds of Change video guides. So um, yeah, I'll just for this video, just very quickly, I will go over the most important type of weapon set, which is the 4040 set. Um, it's actually a bit of a misnomer. A 4040 set consists of a wand and a focus, each having 20% chance of having the casting time and the skill recharge of spells of a specific attribute. So as you can see, it has 20% chance to have the casting time of restoration and 20% chance to have the skill recharge of restoration spells. And similarly, the focus has the exact same um, stats on it. And these are just together called a 4040 set. It doesn't actually work that way. The chances of um, getting the half casting time or half skill recharge effect don't actually add up to 40%. Um, if you're familiar with how probability works, you don't just add up chances like that. Um, that just the, the game doesn't work that way. It's actually multiplicative, which if you do the calculations, it just works out to having a 36% chance of... Um, half skill recharge and half casting time with each spell you cast. Um, generally speaking, 4040 sets are for many casters the preferred um, equipment, unless you need an enchanting mod or a shield set for some other reason. Usually on a pure spellcaster, a 4040 set is the thing to go for. I will go over some other options in some other videos. Um, as for obtaining them, there's three major options. The first one is quite simply buying a base item and then modding it yourself. That's what I've done for the curses set um, for my necromancer. I've gotten a frog scepter of memory with the aptitude not attitude inscription and as you can see this has the exact same effect. It gives me 20% half casting time and 20% half skill recharge for um, the attribute that the scepter has, in this case, curses. And similarly, I've got a celestial compass and upgraded it with the forget-me-not inscription and a focus core of aptitude. This is by far the most expensive option. Um, firstly, depending on which base item skin you want, you can pay quite a lot for those. Um, a celestial compass and a frog scepter are usually the most expensive choices. Um, there aren't very many other popular skins. I guess the Tormented um, skins are also quite popular and similarly expensive considering arm braces are very expensive at the moment. But um, yeah, you could obviously choose any skin you like that you can get inscribable and with the correct attribute and you could mod it yourself. This gives you the most flexibility but also it's quite expensive. Not only do you have to buy the base items which might be expensive depending on the skin you want, but the upgrades themselves can also be quite expensive. Um, the one trapping of memory is basically free. Those, those are very common um, and you can get them for very cheap. The aptitude not attitude inscription is a little more expensive. Probably costs you about, I don't know, five ectos maybe. The focus core of aptitude again isn't that rare. It's probably a little more, uh, a little cheaper than the inscription for the wand. But the forget-me-not inscription for the focus, that actually gets quite expensive because it's fairly rare. So that can go up to 20 ectos um, in Kamadan if you don't find a person selling for cheap. So the most flexible and also the most expensive option would be to just mod it yourself. The second option is crafting it. And for crafting it, there are two merchants in the factions campaign that can help you out. So in the Leviathan pits, it's Telamon the NPC I'm just talking to right now. And there's also an NPC called Gertrude in Vesberg Armory. And these will sell you the 2020 components for 4040 sets for a fairly low price. If I, if you can look at, uh, if you just want to look at this, each of the items costs you 5k and some materials, which materials depends on what attribute you want. And the foci generally cost a little more in terms of materials but still 5k plat 5k um, gold, I guess. 
So in total, depending on which materials you want to get, the 4040 set might cost maybe 20k if you get one that requires very expensive materials. Um, so that's obviously a very cheap option. Now you have no um, no way to choose which skin you get. It's just the skin that he sells is the one you, you, you're stuck with. So if you really don't like one of the skins, tough luck. There's no alternative. Um, that's just what they sell. But obviously it's by far the cheapest option. Simply because it's 20k for a complete set. And if the skins don't matter, this is definitely the way to go. They sell almost all attributes. Um, you are missing fast casting, soul reaping and energy storage. Those aren't present at all. And there are no wands for restoration and inspiration magic. Um, aside from that, any caster attribute can be obtained here and you have your 4040 sets. So especially the most common ones that you want. Um, curses for necromancers, domination and um, illusion for mesmers and healing for monks. Those are all available and you get very cheap 4040 sets. Obviously you need to have progressed through factions far enough. But um, Factions is a pretty quick campaign. You can get to Leviathan Pits right after Giala Hatchery and um, Vasburg Armories right after Eternal Groove. So it's um, yeah, it's not, not a big thing to, to get them here. Keep in mind that um, the reason I have to talk to Talamon at the moment is because I have more Luxon Faction than Kurzak Faction, 49k to 24k. So I have to go on the Luxon side, even though Leviathan Pits is currently held by the Kurzak side. You still need to have more Luxon faction if you want to trade with him. And Vesberg Armory is for you Kurzak people. So if you have more Kurzak faction, then Vesberg Armory is um, is where you can buy your 4040 sets. Um, so that would be the second option. For example, the Illusion set I have on Norgu is exactly that. Um, obviously it doesn't look as nice because I have to choose the, I have to take the skins that I get, but it has the exact same effect. So there's no functional difference between a handcrafted and a, or a handmade and a crafted 4040 set. It's just a lot cheaper. And your third option are unique items. Now, the, the most common unique items that you can get are the Drognar's items. The Drognar's key you obtain from finishing Eye of the North. Um, can be traded in after the um, Time for Heroes mission against 2020 items of any non-primary spellcaster attribute. So any caster attribute, that would be Mesmer's, uh, Necro, Monk, Elementalist, Ritualist. I think those are it. Anyway, any caster attribute, you can get 4040 40 sets from, from those Drognar's keys. These are a little more difficult to obtain than just buying the sets here, but you're not missing any attributes except for the primary attributes, which most of them are also missing from um, from these NPCs in factions. The good thing is you don't really need primary attribute 4040 40 sets most of the time. There's not really any any use for them. You don't usually use a soul reaping or an, um, an energy storage 4040 40 set. If you do, you're kind of... I guess stuck. There's, there's, um, these options aren't available to you. Um, there are also certain bosses that can drop 2020 items, which two of those make up a 4040 set. Um, now on the German wiki, guild wiki that is, there is a list of which items for which, um, attribute you can get from which boss. The English wiki doesn't have such a list. So in the description, I will make one for you. Um, It doesn't fill up all the holes left by these NPCs and factions, but you can definitely get the the ones for um, restoration and inspiration magic, which are missing. The primary attributes that are missing are still missing, though. So there's not really any, any way around that. If you really need, for some reason, a 40-40 um, uh, energy storage set, um, you're going to need to use either a handcrafted one or a collector one. And that's the, the final option. There are certain collectors in, um, I think most of them are in prophecies, 
which can can give you 40 40 sets for um or 2020 20 items i guess for certain of the caster attributes that were available in factions so all of the base classes um that would be monk mesmer elementalist and necromancer i i don't know if there's any convenient list that i can translate for you for um, getting these but um i think from the, in the crystal desert the the collectors sometimes have these 2020 items which um have maximum stats on them so that's the uh, the fourth and final option to get these um these items um yeah just a quick information video on how to get those i might make another one for some of the other weapon sets that i mentioned but the 4040 set is definitely the most important and um it's also the one that you see people wanting most commonly so Make it yourself, expensive but free choice of skin. Craft it here, very cheap, but you're stuck with usually kind of boring skins. And finally, the Drognas sets, which are very quick to get. Um, you just need the key, which you get uh, from finishing Eye of the North. So if you have those lying around, that's another quick option. And you don't, you you have a few more attributes than the crafting, uh, the the NPCs and factions offer. And yeah, finally, collectors. I don't have any collector 4040 sets, so I couldn't show you any examples of those, but um, they're probably the the cheapest because you just need to get the, the items that they collect, but farming those could be a little tedious. So yeah, those are your options. Um, Look at the video description for any information that I may have forgotten to mention, and that is still important. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.